Well, it's my privilege then to introduce our first oration titled, A Budding Concept, Why Christians Should Support the Use of Medical Marijuana for Pain Relief. Please welcome Olivia Shabul. A cancer patient has just died. After years of misery, he made a miraculous recovery. The credits were given to the doctors, but unfortunately, the doctors also took the blame for his fall. During this man's treatment, he was prescribed opioids to reduce the pain from his cancer. Fast forward a few years, he was found dead. The cause? Opioid overdose. There are thousands of stories similar to this each year. Just in 2016, there were 19,354 deaths reported to opioid overdose. As Christians, what can we do to prevent this epidemic from progressing? Should we be open-minded to the possibilities of alternative pain relief? Some of these options could include psychoactive medications such as marijuana. Although medical marijuana might be abused for recreational purposes, I argue that Christians should support the use of cannabis as a pain reliever for patients with chronically painful illnesses because severe physical pain deserves medical relief. Marijuana is immensely less addictive than opioids. In treating physical pain that alters one's personality does not affect the Christian ethic of preserving one's God-given personality. Marijuana may temporarily change one's personality, but this should not be considered a negative effect, especially if the patient is already experiencing mental alterations due to their illness. For example, a patient that is struggling with situational depression or is unable to function in the ways that they had been able to previously are already experiencing mental changes. By providing these patients marijuana, their daily lives will be able to return closer to what they had experienced prior to their illness. In the world of pharmaceutical drugs, a medication is considered to be beneficial if the side effects of the drugs are less harmful than the illness and its symptoms. In addition, opioids commonly lead to the use and addiction of heroin. Opioids mimic the natural opioid receptors found in the human brain, leading the patient to have a feeling of euphoria. Tolerance then occurs. This means the patient will need a higher dose in order to have the same pain relief that they had prior. With marijuana, tolerance is less common, and if it does occur, cannot lead to lethal overdose, unlike opioids. With the threat of lethal overdose being non-existent and the patient's pain being immensely reduced, Marijuana is already a more beneficial and safer alternative. Other psychoactive medications, such as antidepressants, mood stabilizers, and antipsychotics are commonly used. So why should this be different for medication when it comes to pain relief? As Christians, we need to seek the support from our fellow Christians. When it comes to severe pain, chronic illnesses, and terrible injuries, one should seek support from their community one should seek support from their church. How can this be done if one's church does not agree in the way they are seeking treatment? We need to be understanding and accepting of those who use medical marijuana for pain relief. Another common concern is that the system in which receiving a medical marijuana card is extremely damaged. What I mean by this is it is extremely easy for one to go to the doctors and receive a medical marijuana card without having a logical reason. This needs to be improved. I suggest that if marijuana becomes an alternative to opioids, the system in receiving this medical marijuana card needs to become more serious. Just as a doctor should not be prescribing opioids, just to anyone, so too should a doctor not be giving out a medical marijuana card to anyone unless they're in severe pain or have a chronic illness. This current day opioid epidemic is often forgotten about. There are hundreds of Americans dying each day. We need to stop this immediately. Marijuana is my proposed solution, and as Christians, we need to consider the relief that cannabis, whether psychoactive or non-psychoactive, can do to patients around the world. Thank you. Yeah.